Hey everyone, welcome to new updates of OV18. In today's video, we will discuss about how to merge multiple vendables. So in order to do so, you can just dive into the purchase module and here we can find different builds that is created. Now let's try to add different builds. So let me add different purchase order with different vendors and I have just added two builds over here. As you just select the vendors from this list view, here you can see an action button will be triggered. So as you just try to merge here, you will get a pop-up message that this is an invalid operation because you have to select at least the purchase orders with the state RFQ and then only we can merge that. So currently we have uh, added uh, the purchase orders, okay, which are in the state of purchase orders and these bills are not in the state of RFQ. Now, let me choose uh, different um, bills which are in its draft state. So let me choose uh, multiple RFQs over here with different mentors and let's move on to the action button and let's try to merge that. So this also gives an invalid operation because the selected purchase order uh, must have same details. Currently, we have added the bills with uh, different details such as the different vendors, different destinations, different currencies and all. So that's why we have got the invalid operation over here. So let me just create new um, orders over here with the same vendor, with different products, with the same currency and all. Now let me choose that which is uh, Alexa Laza as my vendor. And you can just add the product that you want. So I'm going to add the product as Equistic block screen and here you can set the quantity that is uh, required. So I want Equistic block screen with wood as uh, 5 quantity and uh, white wood 6 quantity. Later on you can just confirm that and you can also set the price over here. And yeah, well we have uh, provided price over here. Later on let's save this and you can see that currently this RFQ or uh, this request for quotation is in state of RFQ. Now again, let me duplicate this order and here you can see the purchase order reference number is just incremented and I just need to change the product over here with, uh, yeah, let's say we just need to include a black embroidered shirt over here with the quantity um, and all. So I want four shirts with the size small so let me confirm that and later on here you can see everything is just updated and just ensure that it is in state of RFQ. Now let's move on to the R request for quotation in its list view. Now here you can see that the request for quotation that is generated in state of RFQ so you can just choose the RFQs that is recently created and here you can see the reference number as well as the vendors are seen as well as the currency uh, comes with the uh, same format which uses both dollars over here and let's try to merge this and move on to the action button and you can just choose the merge over here and here you can see that the purchase orders are merged and the purchase order one is cancelled and the other one is merged and here the items will be merged into the preceding uh, RFQ and here it shows that the item or the product in the RFQ with purchase order reference number uh, 24 is just merged into 23 and you can also easily find that from the log over here so the administrator will show that RFQ merge with the reference number will be highlighted over here so it's very easy to merge multiple purchase uh, order orders I mean multiple RFQs into a single RFQ in Odoo 18 and that's all for today thank you for watching the video